It started with a broken courthouse clock in Fairfield. A guy came to town 13 years ago who knew how to fix it and got it done. I'm kind of a type of guy who's, when he sees something that's broken, he, he wants to, I want to fix it. Meet John Conant, a retired uh, Bell Labs engineer. He heard that a chapel on the old Parsons College was to be bulldozed, and one thing bothered him. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. The organ really is something that should be saved, should be used again. Conant took the pipe organ apart and stuffed it in boxes all over town. That was almost 10 years ago. Fairfield recently built the brand new Stephen Sondheim Civic Center, which needed, you guessed it, an organ. So John went to work. Here, I, w I just remembered about the ladder. High above the auditorium, we watched as John scrambled at the last minute to get to all of the 1,683 pipes to make sure they were working in time for the concert. Friend Bob Glocky helped by pressing the keys. John did the tuning. The dollar bill is just what is needed to clean the reed. Fairfield would soon hear this organ in its new setting with a professional organist. This is the one that's dead. John wanted it to be right. This is the tuning piece here. One pipe did not work. Inside, John found a mummified dead bat. And a carpenter was working at my neighbor's house one day and he heard what I was working on. He says, I came across this pipe when I was working in a building on campus. And somebody said it was maybe an organ pipe, and so he hung on to it. And there was one pipe missing. It was an E pipe. And I looked on the label on this particular base, and it said E. Finally, John had to halt his efforts so the performing duo from Pittsburgh could bring the organ to life once again. Well, it's an incredible thing to come into a community where the, an organ has not been taken out of a building, which happens far too often in our society, but rather an organ has been restored. It's sort of like life. You solve, life is sometimes full of problems, but if you solve the problems one at a time, the pieces come together. It's been a joy in bringing those pieces together. In Fairfield, the courthouse clock still works. Now, so does this pipe organ. Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.